Sunday morning, it's the car booped haul time. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday morning, it's the car booped haul time. Just the one car boot today. I didn't even bother to go in to see if Trench Lane was gonna be on or not. It's been a wet and soggy morning. I wasn't feeling it. They ladies to come tonight a bit narrow this morning. Sometimes people extend their stalls forward a bit and you end up with a very narrow walkway, which makes it very bottlenecky and hard work. And I've got a cold, so I was a bit blur anyway, and I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling the car boot love. I did get a trolley full of stuff. Again, trying not to overdo it at the moment because I'm going away and because I need to tidy this room and because I've got a cupboard full of stock and because of all the usual things that you've heard a hundred times. But I still got a trolley load. And I am still pleased with what I've got. So in no particular order, I picked up a pair of Clark's shoes. These were four pounds and that is more than I would normally pay at the car boot sale. But the lady was not for turning. And to be fair, they are barely worn. So they're Clark's leather Mary Jane style shoes and they are size five they are in splendid condition superb condition really really nice um so i think they were probably worth the four quid even though i'm a tight arse and i try to haggle it down to three i paid five pounds for the stuff that's in this bag and to be honest i don't think i did that well so there was a basket full of stuff and i said to the lady how much is all this she said it's 50p each and then as I was putting stuff out, she was bunging it all in a bag and then she glanced in the bag and said, call it a fiver. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, I'm not sure I even had 10 things. So we'll count. I've got the Teletubbies figures, which I have no idea whether they're worth having or not. But at the point where I thought it was 50p and I might get a deal, I thought I'd pick them out. So I've got all four. Hang on, I'm still digging. Dinky Winky, Dipsy, La La and Po. That's four items. I've got... Oh, I have got 10 at least, yeah. I've got four unicorn rubber ducks. Tammy and I are going on a cruise in November and we are members of the Cruising Ducks Facebook group and you basically plant ducks for other people to find and see if your duck's been found. It's just a bit of fun that people do on cruises. So whenever I see a couple of ducks, cheap I get them. So I've got four ducks. I've got one... Sylvanian's family's rabbit. So how many is that so far? That's nine. I have got more than ten because I've also got four tiny potato heads. Mrs. Referee. I've got two. One and a half Mrs. Referees. I've dropped one of them. Hang on. Two, two Mrs. Referees and two of these little tiny spuds and they're just going to potato head bundle. So I've ended up with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items for a fiver. That's all right. That's all right. Although, not the spanking deal that I might have hoped for. <laughs> From Steve, I paid £4 for these three Denby Elements black pepper mugs. They all... A bit of fluff in there. I thought it was a, I thought it was a dead insect, but it's a bit of fluff. They all need a bit of a clean out with some pink stuff and tidy up, but apart from that, they're in good nick. So £4 for those. And then I paid him 50p for this really quite nice M&S large feather design. M&S super fine china with feathers all over it. And £1.50 for these four bits out of his fill a bag stuff. Because I didn't fill a bag, I just had these four bits. So I've got a little Peter Rabbit Melamine bowl. Two of the Kellogg's plastic bowls. One is a Cornflakes tip and sip. And one is just a Frosty's round one. And this is an Eternal Bow Cloverleaf tray. But it is an unusual colour. And I don't know if that's because it's faded or because it came in this colour. So it's definitely not Eternal Bell. It says Eternal Bow on the back. So maybe it's just a bit faded. Either way, I bunged it in, as they say. As they say in Carry On at the Cove. I bunged it in. Two pounds for this Harry Potter jigsaw for Tammy for her birthday. It is new and sealed. There is a tiny rip to the cellophane there, which one quick bit of sellotape will sort out. Like so, that's that job dropped. And Tammy has had, um, when we were out shopping on Friday, 
she wanted to get some Doc Martens that were a bit beyond her price. So um, she's had cash from me towards those and cash from other friends as well, not just me. So she's had mainly cash for her, for her birthday, but I I don't think a birthday should go by without someone having no, without without with somebody having nothing to open. I think you should have something to unwrap on your birthday. So there will be a few smaller pre-loved gifts as well. So she's got something to open. So I've got that to go towards that. She likes a, likes a jigsaw. She likes Harry Potter. What's not to like? Now I picked up this with one of you guys in mind and I can't think of the name and I can't find you in my emails and it might not even be the right one but a couple of weeks ago I picked up a Wallace and Gromit DVD and one of you guys messaged me and said can I buy that um I think you said you have a child somewhere on the spectrum I can't remember whether you said autism or what please forgive me for my short-term memory it's terrible but you said you have a I think you said an adult an adult daughter somewhere on the spectrum who watches it over and over and over and over again and so you always like to have spares in case one gets broken or whatever and I can't remember whether it was this one or not I know you had the one I had but if it was this one I picked this up for you not for you not to sell to you this is for you free of charge um but you are going to have to message me because my short-term memory has completely let me down and if it isn't the right one please message me and let me know anyway and I'll just list it so it's Wallace and Gromit the Curse of the Were Rabbit and I can't remember if that's the one I picked up a couple of weeks ago or not that's a bit hopeless isn't it but yeah if it is you then I picked it up for you for nothing and I'll just drop it in the post to you but you'll have to remind me who you are and where you are. Okay, um, this was two pounds instead of three. It's marked at three, but the gentleman said he would take two. And it is a Calf Kidston small kids satchel, Calf Kids satchel, in a pink cutout star effect. Pretty floral lining. Really quite a nice little satchel, that. And so, yeah, the gentleman said he would take two on that one. Another £2 got me a Paul Cardew strawberries teapot. Um, one of these in sold for about 20 quid, I think. I sold the apples one not long ago, but I sold it for 19 99 So this is the strawberry one of that. Just looked up. This enormous grumpy mug cost me £1, and these sell for 18 to 20 quid. This is wake-up grumpy mug. So one side it's got the large relief of him, and then on, on the other side there's a slightly smaller one. And it says hot temper, minor back pain, minor spelt as in a coal miner like a dwarf rather than minor as in small, which I thought was quite funny. Sleeping bags under the eyes and cold coffee. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, so that was that cost me a pound in these sell for, like I said, 18 to 20 quid. If I don't smash it. I paid two pounds for a Great Burn handbag, oilskin Hamburg, Hamburg, handbag. And it has its long strap in there as well. That's been unused. And also in there was 5p. So that'll go in my found money jar for this year. Which I will need to be counting soon and passing on to the relevant person. So that would be interesting. Because also at the car boot this morning for my found money jar, I found £2 on the floor. So £2 5p going in the found money today. So that's not bad, is it? It's going to be good this year, the found money. If, you, if, you, if you're not sure what I'm about, every year... I pick up all of the money I find in the street or anywhere, or in the shop floor and over. Pick it all up all year round and I save it all up and then once a year I count it and then I donate it. It now goes to a homeless charity that, that go out and take care, care packages out to people who live on the streets. And the reason I do that is because I feel like this is money that came from the streets and so it go, goes back to the streets. But it's going to be a really good one this year because not all of the money this year has come from the streets. And I'm this is spoilers now, so stop listening because I'll tell you in the proper video when I do that in a couple of weeks' time. But it's going to be a good one gonna be a good one so yeah um 5p towards the found money and a very nice break burn bag with its long strap for two quid another two pound from uh from our friend eric who's got a fantastic that's the door oh <sighs> out of breath now as i was saying our friend eric who has an xl bully bulldog who bella absolutely oh, <laughs> who bella absolutely loves I paid £2 for that from him, and the reason I paid, I probably wouldn't have paid £2 from anyone else, but I tend to give Eric a little bit more because I think he's uh, he's only a little man and I reckon it costs a lot to feed his dog. <laughs> this is my theory. It costs a lot of money to feed that dog, so I tend to give him a little bit more than I would anyone else. And it's a kid's Russian doll with about six or seven layers, and it's plastic, and I'm sure I've had one like this before. Very much out of puff now. <laughs> Last couple of bits. Two pound for a pair of camo trousers for Anthony. Uh, he likes his um, comfy camos. 
If you've seen Anthony, if you've seen Anthony, you've probably struggled to see him because he's always in camo. So they were two quid. He's worn out a few pairs recently. And 50p each for two of these. Jaws choose dumbbells. Probably for Bella. Probably for Bella because they're just about the right size for her. And then the last thing, I really am out of puff. <laughs> there was a parcel, by the way, for Natalie that I rushed off to get it off on. The very last thing was this. This is a jar full of play money. And it was 50p, and it's not the kind of thing I normally buy at all. In fact, I don't even want it. I will give the jar full of play money to my friend Tina, who's got a granddaughter who will play shops and whatever quite happily. So why did I buy it if I don't want it? Because there was also real money in there. And the seller said to me, oh, there's some real money in there as well. He said, I want 50p for it, but I'm not telling you how much is in there. And I thought well, that was a fun idea. I thought it was a fun idea, knowing there was real money. I thought there won't be much in there. There'd be a few coppers, won't there, you know? So I was like, go on then, I'll, I'll chance 50p on, um, you know, I've got a gambling mentality. I'll chance 50p on that. There was quite a lot of real money in there. There was all of this. And then there were these bits. So there's six euro cents there, a five euro cent and a one cent piece. There's three pennies, three British UK pennies. There's one of those rolled out and squashed pennies that you get in the novelty tourism tourism machines. I think I got one in Portugal last time over there. And then there's all of this. This is not British money. So you're telling the truth, there is real money in there, but it's not British, it's American. This is US coinage. And in here there are, I wrote it down. There are four American quarter dollars. So that's a dollar. 12 nickels, which is 5 cents, which makes 60 cents in total. 13 dimes, which is your 10 cent piece. I, I, I'm, I'm not educated. I realise that if you're in America, you already know this. I'm not telling you. I'm telling the people who might not. 13 dimes, which is your 10 cent piece, and that's 130 cents, so $1.30. And 16 of your pennies. So that's a total of $3.06. I've just asked Alexa to convert that for me. She says it's worth about £2.50. So my 50p produced... About two pound fifty and three p and about six p in the euro cents because the conversion is about the same from a penny to a cent for the euros. Now, obviously, I've never been to America, so firstly, I was surprised to discover that your ten cent piece is smaller than your five cent piece. This threw me. A dime is smaller than a nickel, and I couldn't understand why, but I've looked it up, and apparently, it's due to the amount of silver in it. So, who knew? I did every day's a school day. But yeah, I've never been. I don't know if I ever will go, but. Tina's going next month. Tina's got a trip to New York planned next month, so I will give her $2.50 and tell her to have... Can you get a coffee? Maybe you... I bet you can't get a coffee in New York for $2, can you? Maybe she can buy a newspaper. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what she can do. Maybe she'll just chuck it in the charity box over there. You know, maybe there'll be a, a charity collection and she'll throw it in there. But that's what I'll do with that. It won't be wasted. And I thought it would be... It was just fun to see how much I would get out of my 50p bucket. So she'll get play money for her granddaughter and $2.50 for a holiday. <laughs> and I had all the fun of sorting out and thinking maybe there'd be pounds and pounds and pounds in there. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. There will not be a video next week because I'm going away on holiday, so I'll miss one car boot sale. So there'll be no car boot sale video next Monday, but um, you can always watch this one twice if you're really a sucker for punishment. Anything you've seen in the video, do drop me a line and drop the email addresses below. But as I said, I'm away for a week, so don't be surprised if I don't reply very quickly. And with all that said, have a good week and I'll see you in a fortnight. Have a good have a good fortnight and I'll see you I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.